grown man business. Alright, we got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. And uh I just hate giving out these type of uh news, this type of information, but uh the greatest of all time, the GOAT, Muhammad Ali, passed away last night. Uh we all know he was pretty ill. Uh, he died at the age of 74. He had a uh, respiratory uh, situation, a condition going on that left him hospitalized and he passed away last night. So, uh, I hate to see, uh, hate to see a guy like that just, uh, we know he's been dealing with, uh, illness for quite a while. Uh, Parkinson disease, and um, you know, he's in a better place now. I'd like to send my love and prayers and condolences to uh, the family, the Ali family, his daughter, Layla Ali, and the rest of his family as well. Uh, you know, the whole world's mourning with y'all, and uh, let's take one day at a time. I know it's a rough time for y'all, so I just want to send my love prayers y'all way uh all right it's just been too much too much bad news going on in, in uh the year 2016 but uh let's try to let me let me talk about some nfl man um uh, got some good news going on around the league matt forte uh he's looking good in training camp mini training camp that is He's looking real good. Uh, you know, we all know he signed with the New York Jets. And he said the reason why he signed with the Jets is because they have a, a great training staff. And Matt Forte, for like the past two or three seasons, he's been dealing with uh, injuries that left him sideline over there as the Chicago Bears. Uh, he was a Chicago Bears for eight years. He's 30 years old now. So he came in the league when he was 22. Uh, and when you up in that age right now, it's important to stay healthy. It's, it's important to uh, get the proper training for your body. Uh, especially as a running back when you're dealing with so much hits and being physical. You know, he can run and catch. And... Uh, I think he's gonna be a good fit with the Jets. Uh, last year they was so close in getting to the uh, playoff. Uh, the Buffalo Bills they played as spoilers, and uh, you know an uh, interception is what determined the Jets from even going to the uh, playoff. So Matt Forte coming in as a running back is a good addition for that team, and it's a lot of success uh, going on. In my predictions this year for the Jets, so keep an eye out for them. Um, okay, we got some Green Bay Packer news. Clay Matthews. He will be moving back to outside linebacker. Uh, he been playing inside linebacker for the past, what, two seasons, I believe? Yeah, two seasons. And he's been kind of lost in that position. So they bringing him back outside to the outside linebacker position where he's uh, more natural. It's a more natural position for him because he came in as a defensive end. So it's just like uh, back to his comfort zone. So they, their goal is to keep him as an outside linebacker. Uh, but they, it's not definitely that he would stay as an outside linebacker. You know, uh, they, they're looking at the rest of the linebackers and where they're more comfortable at. But they want... Clay Matthews to be the leader and that's why they put him in the inside linebacker in the first place but his more natural position is the outside so they should keep him there uh, who else we got Jacksonville Jaguar news okay we got some great news for the Jaguar fans baby Jalen Ramsey his injury is not serious it was a knee injury but it's not serious you don't need uh, surgery and, uh, you know, he's been spotted around uh, practice, walking around, moving around good. 
Uh, he's not practicing right now, but they say he will be back at 100% by training camp, uh, maybe sooner, because he is a young guy, so keep that in mind. So that's good news for all the Jaguar fans, and I like to see this guy play this year. I don't want him to miss uh, his rookie season. I think he's a Sean Taylor type player, and I think he's going to have a breakout season his rookie year as a Jaguar. So keep an eye, on, eye out on that guy. Uh, I believe they got him as cornerback. He's a natural safety. So hopefully they'll put him back in safety. Or they're just going to keep him as a hybrid. So uh, that's good news. Okay, we got some Dallas Cowboy news, baby. Tony Romo. All right, he's excited for this new season right here, 2016 season. Uh, we all know 2015, last season, he, he only played four games. He was sidelined with a fractured collarbone. Uh, well, he, he heard it multiple times over the, uh, the season of last year. But uh, he's looking forward to this season. Uh, he got some good new weapons. You know, Big Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott uh, from Ohio State. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how... Dallas Cowboys going to play this year. <clears throat> play this year. You know, they got uh, uh, Dak Prescott as a backup quarterback. He's a rookie quarterback. I think he is the future of that franchise. And uh, <laughs> Tony Romo, he need to have a great season. He don't need to get hurt. Uh, he don't think that the collarbone injury will linger this season. I don't think he, he don't feel like he will have any issues with his collarbone this season. I hope not. I hope he don't deal with any more injuries this season. Uh, this is a season he needs to play. He don't need to miss any games. He need to have a good breakout season. At least get the Cowboys to the playoff. And uh, that's about it, man. Uh, oh, Sam Bradford, you know, he's looking good in many training camp as well. Uh, in practice also. Uh, I think practice just started uh, yesterday. No more mini, mini camp, uh, mini training camp. But uh, he's looking good. A lot of his uh, office alignment, they are talking positive about Sam Bradford. A lot of people, uh, he's, a lot of the, his players are saying that people don't realize how athletic he is. And uh, I've been watching some of his uh, his, his highlights in practice in, uh, in, in training camp. He's looking pretty good, man. So hopefully he have a breakout season this year. Uh, not, not breakout, a big season. He need to have a big season. He don't, he's another one who don't need to have any injuries or need to miss any games. Uh, I think he, I think he'll play pretty good this year because he have a lot to prove. So uh, just tell me what y'all think. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali, the greatest ever did it, baby. The goat, hashtag the goat, hashtag the butterfly and the bee. Hey, let's just say it, baby. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. You know my slogan, baby. Grown man business.